Hi guys. Um, so we have a little bit of an announcement to make. So we have a new book that is just coming out later on this year. Um, it's called Quantum Atom Optics, Theory and Applications to Quantum Technology. So us two are the authors. I'm Tim Burns. I'm in the picture. We look at it. And uh, this is going to come out uh, from Cambridge University Press. Um, so what we're going to actually do with this book is to give you a little bit of an introduction, sort of section by section, where either one of us will talk about a particular section and just give you a sort of a casual introduction to it so that uh, it's a bit of an accompaniment to the book itself. So what's the book about? It's an introductory book on quantum atom optics and atomic many body matter systems and particularly we want to apply it to like quantum technology yeah and actually we hope we have in mind of a senior undergraduate students and maybe first year second year graduate students um, who are actually doing research in um, using many body atomic systems we are hinging this on the people who are going to be using our book already have taken the basic quantum mechanics class. The type of things we want you to achieve is being able to actually understand the applications of quantum mechanics to technology, something like their uses in some in uh, atom interferometry, quantum meteorology, quantum simulation and computing. So this is the contents page. It starts off by talking about just uh, basics of how you actually write down the formalism for quantum many body systems, so bosonic operators, and how you capture interactions between them. And then we go on to talk about Bose Einstein condensates, um, how do Bose Einstein condensates form, um, you know, what are, say, the low energy excited states, Bogolyubov excitation, superfluidity, this kind of thing. Uh, then uh, another important technique that you use in Bose-Einstein condensates is the uh, gross Potapovsky equation. This is a kind of a mean field description. And so this next chapter three talks about how you can uh, look at various phenomena like vortices and um, solitons, things like that with that. In chapter four, we're talking about uh, spin dynamics. So this is really the fundamentals of the types of uh, interactions in you know internal degrees of freedom of the atoms. The spin dynamics, uh, we are talking more of using the quantum effects as against the mean field effects. Right, right, yes. Yeah, so yeah, maybe another point I could add on that is that, um, you know, there's quite a lot of books on the deep physics of sort of atomic systems. systems. And, 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 you know, we basically did not want to replicate any kind of textbook like that because there's already a few like that available. Um, so what we wanted to do is to give you, you know, just the real fundamentals that you really need, um, the things that we use in our kind of research day to day. And chapter five, this is one of my favorite chapters. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a spin-off Bose-Einstein condensates. So this is talking about various types of states that you can make uh, with the spins of BC. So these are like things like squeeze states and how you can get entanglement in such states and, and so forth. And also look at different quasi distributions, um, you know, how to view these states, how to characterize them or visualize them. We move on to chapter six, where we now talk about the diffraction of atoms using standing wave light. So this is basically manipulating atoms with light. Then we quickly move on to um, how we use it use that in, in doing atom interferometry. And uh, in atom interferometry, we are going to be looking at, you know, if I have a BC sitting in a trap, how do I really put it in motion and do interferometry with that? So we now move on to specific types of states. We now use in meteorology. So um, in chapter eight, we'll be looking at mostly how to generate squeezed states. And this will be building on what you've already known, learned from chapters uh, five, six, seven. So we'll be building on that, uh, looking at um, generating squeeze states 
for interferometry and looking at ways to characterize them, basically looking at the squeezing parameter, uh, which comes from looking at Fisher information and uh, looking at experimentally can actually we, how can we actually control those parameters that gives, gives rise to squeezing? Chapter nine is talking about quantum simulation. So this is trying to mimic complex quantum many body problems, particularly with cold atom systems. Particularly, we have a section talking about a toolbox for how you can build all kinds of quantum simulators. Chapter 10 is a, more of a quantum information chapter talking about entanglement, how you can create entanglement uh, between actually, say, two ensembles. So this is uh, getting close to more forefront research. And the last chapter is talking about how you can apply such uh, entanglement techniques to things like quantum computing and quantum information talking about things like teleportation, various algorithms that you can implement. So th that's a basically a quick kind of run through of uh, all the chapters. There's various types of problem exercises all throughout the book as well that uh, you can use just to get accustomed to the formalism. And um, anything else you want to add? Oh, yes. Uh like we said, the book is coming out, we believe, quite soon. We're expecting maybe before the final quarter of this year, the book will actually be out. So be on the lookout and um, don't miss it. Yes. And so don't forget to subscribe to our channel if uh, you want to hear um, more about the book. So we'll go through each of these sections in detail and you can use this to learn all about quantum atom optics. All right. Yeah. Okay. So... Thank you for listening and have a fun time. Yeah, okay. See you later.